welcome back to my channel. This is going to be another tutorial for this bandeau off the shoulder top. I was sent this picture from a subscriber to recreate and this is the pattern I came up with so I hope you guys enjoy. So this is the yarn I'm using for this project. It's this beautiful hand spun wool. It's so gorgeous. I'm so obsessed with it. I got it at this specialty yarn store here in San Francisco. The website is right there if you want to check it out. And also there isn't a weight listed on this, but to me it feels like a weight two or three at the most. So if you don't use this, I would definitely recommend a weight two in a cotton yarn or material you want to use is totally fine, but don't use anything larger than a weight three. Also, this is 210 yards. I did use this entire roll for this project, so if you're making a larger size, you will need more. So first to get started, I am taking a 2.75 millimeter hook, creating a knot in my yarn, and then I'm going to make one long chain, enough to almost completely wrap around your torso. So for me, that is going to be 78 chains. This is a size extra small to small what I'm making so just keep chaining until you get the length you need it doesn't need to wrap completely around your torso you will want a space of two to three inches in between so then once I have the length I want I'm blocking off the last chain with my finger and chaining an additional three preparing for a double crochet and then I'm gonna go right into the chain that I blocked off and I'm going to place a double crochet So then I'm just going to go throughout the remainder of the chains in this row and I'm going to be placing one double crochet in every chain. So once you're finished with your first row of double crochets, all I'm going to do is chain three and get started on my second row. This is also going to be a row of double crochets. So once you chain three to begin your next row, you're going to prepare for a double crochet. And I always like to show this just in case you're a beginner. That first chain that looks like it's the beginning of the row is actually connected to your chain three. So the next chain is actually the first chain of the row. So you will be placing your first double crochet in that chain. And then you're just gonna go along and place double crochets in every chain going back down your row. So then just continue along the row. So I did finish the second row. Then I'm going to chain three to start on the next one. So you will be doing this pattern over and over again until it's able to cover your bust entirely. So for me, I think that'll be around 13 or 14 rows. So just keep doing that until you get the size that you need. So once you finish with all of your rows, this should be able to fit your bust completely. Um, now I am going to start working on the bottom design of this top. So, so I did 13 rows. It really depends on your size. Um, this will fit a small to medium. So if you want to copy what I did, I did 13 rows. But so now I am going to get started on the design pattern of the bottom. So I'm going to chain three to get started, flip over my work. So once I have the chain three, I am going to chain an additional three at the top of the chain three. So I'll have a chain of six. Then I'm going to prepare for a double crochet and I'm going to count to the third chain in the row. So one, two, three. So I'm going to place my double crochet in the third row. So I'm skipping two chains and placing it in the third chain. So you should have a small square. Then chain another three. Prepare for a double crochet and then go into the third chain. With 
with a double crochet. So then you are just going to continue that pattern, chain three, prepare for a double crochet, go into the third chain, So you're just going to do that for the remainder of the row. So I did just want to show you that if you don't have uh, the right number of chains in your top to complete this pattern for your first row, it's totally fine. I only have two chains left in the row instead of three. So for the last little square, I'm just going to chain two instead of three because I only have two chains left then I'm going to prepare for a double crochet and then just go through my last chain and place my double crochet there so then you'll just have a small square which is totally fine so then I'm going to get started on my next row you are just going to be repeating this pattern over and over and over again I'm probably going to do six to seven more rows. If you want your top to be longer, then feel free to go as long as you want it to be. So just to start each row, just chain three, flip over your work, and then since this is the smaller um, square, I'm just going to chain an additional two on the top of my chain three to get started, prepare for a double crochet, and then go into the double crochet beneath it. Go into the top chain of that and place your double crochet. So then for the remainder of the squares, I'm going to chain three, prepare for a double crochet, and then go into the double crochet beneath it. So then you'll get another row of little squares. And then, so yeah, I'm just going to pause here. I'm gonna continue this pattern probably for the next five, to six rows. So I did seven rows of this square pattern. So you can continue this if you want. This hits me just above my belly button. If you want it to be a longer top, then feel free to make more. I am going to stop here at the seven rows. I haven't cut my yarn or anything. Um, I am going to get started. We are gonna do two to three uh, double crochet rows going this way along the top so this is going to start on the connection between the back together so um, my top did shrink up a little bit as I was crocheting so it's not as large as the initial measurement so I am going to maybe add an extra row along going along this way so I am going to just continue the same yarn and start crocheting along this way. So all I'm going to do is do rows of double crochets. So I'm going to chain three to get started. Prepare for a double crochet. You can either go through the individual chains, which is kind of tricky because you're crocheting in a different direction, or you can just go through the entire the entire space right there which is what I'm gonna do so you do want it to fill the spaces completely so I'm going to be placing two double crochets in each space so that should be enough to fill this space so just go along the bottom so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what I'm doing just in case you want a little bit more direction. If you wanna just place your double crochets in random spaces, then just kind of skip through this part. I'm just gonna include this, so I'm just choosing two spaces per row. And then I'm just gonna continue that. Uh, so for the next row, all you do is chain three to begin, and we're gonna be repeating that same pattern again for this row except now you actually have a chain to crochet through so just do a row of double crochets for the next and then kind of measure it to yourself figure out if your um, pattern shrunk at all 
and if it did this is where you can get back some of that extra width that you might need so I might be doing three or four rows of this but honestly if your back fits together so if this is your back you would want it to end right here so that you can have your tie in the middle I hope that makes sense so if you need to add extra length go ahead I probably will be adding a few extra rows but if you don't need to then just do two or three so now I'm finished with my four rows you can do more if you need to I'm just gonna get started on so I'm just gonna get started on the little loops that are going to connect your back piece together so I'm gonna chain three and then since this is the initial chain three, I'm also going to chain an additional three. Prepare for a double crochet. Skip over to the fourth chain. So one, two, three, four. So I'm going to have three in the middle and you're gonna be placing your double crochet on the fourth chain. So you should have a, a large loop. Now I'm going to chain an additional three, skip over to the fourth chain, so then you're just going to continue that pattern of chaining three and then placing a double crochet in the fourth chain away. So for the very end of your row, if you don't have enough spaces to skip four, it's okay. Just chain out two. If you only have three left, I'm only gonna chain out two, prepare for a double crochet, and then go through the very last chain three in the row. So it's okay if the last loop is smaller. So then I am gonna go back along the top row and place single crochets in every chain just to make it a little bit thicker. So I'm going to chain one to start my row and then I'm just gonna go straight back through the very next chain and place a single crochet. So try your best to go through every chain. It's okay if it's a little bit messed up, but this is just gonna add more sturdiness when you're tying your top together. So once you're finished with your row of single crochets, I am just gonna cut and tie my yarn, and then I'm gonna repeat that same process on the other side of your top. So I'm going to attach the yarn, do four rows, or however many rows you want to do, of double crochets, and then do the same loops and then single crochet row along the top. So I'm just gonna skip through that. So now I'm finished with both sides of the back piece. Um, so this is what it should look like. Um, now I'm going to get started on, I'm gonna make um, just an edging along the bottom of the top so all I did was attach my yarn to the very corner so this is optional um, but I think it makes the top look a little bit cuter so I'm just attaching my thread I'm gonna chain three And then I'm just gonna go straight into this very first loop right here. So I'm gonna skip over this and just go into this little chain with a double crochet. And I'm gonna put a total of six double crochets in this space. So then in this next space right here, um, 
It really depends how many rows you have, but basically what I'm doing is I'm alternating between putting six double crochets in one space and then in the next space putting three single crochets. Sorry, there's like dogs barking outside. But anyway, so I'm in the very next space that you see, so I am kind of skipping a chain here. But really, the bottom edging doesn't have to be perfect. I'm kind of just coming up with this as I go. Like, this is just what I think will look the best. So just use your best judgment. Um, it doesn't matter if it's perfect. So just in the next space, that is kind of angled easily. So if I did it in this space, it'd be way too close. So hopefully that makes sense. But just in the next available space, I am just placing three single crochets. So once I have that, I'm going to prepare for a double crochet, jump over this space, so the last row of the little back piece, and then I'm going to go right into the first square. And I'm going to again place a total of six double crochets. So once I have my six double crochets in the first space, again I'm just going to go right into the very next loop and I'm going to place three single crochet. So then once I have that, I'm gonna prepare for a double crochet, go right into the next one with a total of six double crochets. So this is gonna just leave a really nice edging along the bottom. I'm just gonna go ahead and continue with this pattern all the way across and until I reach the other side. So I'm just gonna pause and come back once. So this is what you should have once you're finished with that row. So now I'm just gonna get started on the arm cuffs. So I'm just taking my thread, double knotting it, and making a chain. This is going to need to be long enough to fit around your arm. So mine is 42 chains long but make it as long as you need it to be. So once you have the length you need, block off the end with your finger and then chain an additional three. Prepare for a double crochet. Go back through the chain that you blocked off with your finger and you're going to be placing a row of double crochets, placing one double crochet in every chain going back along your row. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish my first row. So then I'm just gonna chain three, flip it over, prepare for a double crochet, place it in the first chain. I'm just gonna do this, just basic rows of double crochets. Once you're finished with the first row for this little arm cuff, it's kind of up to you. I am only going to be doing three rows and then so I'm just going to finish these three rows and then come back and show you the rest. So once you have the three rows, I'm going to get started on the little square pattern. I'm going to do two rows of that. So I'm just going to chain three, flip over my work, and then I'm going to chain an additional three. So I chained a total of six. Now I'm going to skip to the fourth chain. So one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna place a double crochet in the fourth chain away from the end. Now I'm going to chain three, prepare for a double crochet, skip to the fourth chain, place a double crochet. So I'm just gonna continue that chaining three, skipping to the fourth chain. And you're going to do two rows of this. So at the very end of the row, I only have two spaces left, so I'm just going to be chaining two, preparing for a double crochet, going into the very last chain. So now I'm going to chain three to begin my row. I'm just going to be chaining two since this is the smaller square. Prepare for a double crochet and then going right into the top of the last double crochet in the row. 
So now I'm just going to continue the regular pattern, chaining three, preparing for a double crochet, skipping over to the double crochet beneath it, placing your next double crochet. So now once you're finished with your two rows, I'm just going to chain one, sorry, and then I'm just going to go into the very first square and place three single crochet. Now I'm going to prepare for a double crochet, go straight through the next loop, and I'm going to be placing three double crochet. I'm sorry, I'm placing a total of six double crochet, so you're making a little fan. So you should have a total of six. Now I'm going straight into the very next loop and placing three single crochet. Now I'm going into the very next loop and placing a total of six double crochet. So you're gonna continue this pattern for the remainder of this row. So once you're finished, um, you should get something like this. I am just going to connect it together, the end pieces together, and I'm going to place single crochets along these side stitches to connect them. I am actually at the end of my yarn, so I did use a full 210 yards for this project. So just keep that in mind if you're making a larger size or adding more rows. So I am going to go grab another spool of yarn to connect this together and then we are almost done. There's only a few steps left. So now I'm going to be working on the chain that's going to connect the back piece together. So I'm just taking my yarn and I'm going to be chaining out a really, really, really long piece. So probably going to go 150 to 200 chains and then I'm going to come back. So I did end up crocheting 270 chains for my strap, so now I'm going to start threading it through. So I'm going to take it exactly in half, and then I'm going to put through inside the very bottom. I'm kind of just lacing it like a shoelace. So I'm just going to pull the bottom. I'm going to cross them over and lace through the very next space. And then I'm just going to continue crossing them over and placing it through the very next space. So once you have it stringed all the way up to the top, then um, all you have to do left is try it on and figure out so figure out where it hits exactly where your underarm is and where you want to crochet on your little arm pieces. So these I am going to connect with a chain so that you can still move your arm up and it won't be too restricting or it won't pull your top while you move your arms. So I'm just going to try this on. So I have the space that I need for the center of my middle arm. So now I'm just going to attach my thread with a knot. Then I'm going to take my chain and I'm probably going to chain out five or six. So it really depends how much space you need to move your arm around really. So maybe six so maybe I'll do yeah I'll just do ten so that looks about right to me so then I'm just going to take my arm cuff and I'm going to take it along the seam that I um, connected the two sides together and I'm just going to place it through a chain And I'm going to 
connect it with a slip stitch and then I'm just going to go into the very next chain on the cuff and connect it with another slip stitch. I'm going to do that one more time just to make sure that it doesn't come unraveled. Then I'm just going to cut, tie, and then weave this in. And then you have your first cuff attached. So I'm just going to do that to the other side. And then you are finished with your top. This is all you have to do. Um, 